Teachers matter. They have a really significant impact. It all starts with norms, right? What makes you feel a sense of belonging and safe? And I think one of those norms needs to be that it's a safe space to make mistakes. Uh, the acronym MATH, mistakes allow thinking to happen. Hi, I'm Liza Bondurant. I work at Mississippi State University and I teach pre-service and in-service secondary mathematics teachers. I mean, I started as an art major and as a math major and I went into teaching. So I actually teach future teachers. So if I oh. want to be a teacher, I teach. Oh. Yeah. Something about math education, like how it's taught and like People just think that they're not math, pe math people if they're not like the smartest student in the mm -hmm. class. We all are math people, we're all doing math all the time, and right. we're all good at it, and you don't have to be like getting it right or the fastest one in class. When you think of an educator that will do anything to clear the way for their students, that's Liza. She is always looking out for what's the very best she can do for her students. How can she help them? And, and that could be anything from getting them access to the best quality materials, uh, helping them find great jobs, great experiences. There's decisions you make as a teacher, but there's also math behind it, right? There's engagement issues in mathematics classrooms. I combat them deliberately and purposefully with particular practices. A key thing is active learning. So a lot of classroom students have a very passive role. Um, you know, it's kind of almost like going to the movie theater. Sit back and relax. My students are immediately standing. As soon as you position them as standing and you not at the front of the room and you're in a circle instead of like a pyramid, that repositions them and I think it, it helps them grow in their identity as a math person um, as an expert, they're growing in their confidence, they're growing in their knowledge. Uh, we use the normal distribution uh, for our graph because... So the fact uh, that they're so like together. physically moving, uh, talking, thinking, all of that is engaging and ideally the problem they care about. I feel like anytime like something's going on, I can call her and she can be like, okay, like let's figure this out. She challenges us to be better students and also future teachers. Dr. B wants us to see the best in our students and wants us to make a difference in them and that's what I want as well. I mean, she is just an advocate for her students and for education in general, I think. I think for me, I just love how she loves what she does. I would say that more than any company I've ever interacted with, Wiley cares about the teachers, absolutely. A lot of the Wiley product frees up my time to build relationships with my students. Liza has amazing one-on-one -on -one connections with each of her students. And as they go into their own classrooms and become teachers, we see Wiley as connecting all of that together. I've watched her offer peer-to-peer -peer support, sharing best practices and her own teaching perspectives. I've seen her provide really valuable content and product feedback. And Wiley's job is to help bring that all together. Every day when I go to work, I know that my work is critically important and that it's making a difference. So what would I want teachers to do? I would want them to believe in their students, believe that they're brilliant, because it's the lens that you see the world through becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy.